Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Stephanie, and today I am excited and also a little bit nervous. Today is all about Juicy C. Now before we get into the main portion of this video, I do have a little bit of background. Juicy C reached out to me. I had never heard about them before, but upon looking at their website, I realized that they were very similar in terms of like a fast fashion type vibe to another very well-known Instagram brand, Cider. If you've seen Cider, I had actually purchased a couple things from Cider and I posted them and Cider reposted me and that's when I heard from GCC. So I'm not sure if they saw that post and were like, hey, I think she'd be a good fit for us. Uh, but it was shortly after that that GCC reached out to me. So the first time GCC reached out, they gave me the option to choose three tops from their website in exchange for a post. I wasn't entirely sure about the quality and they didn't offer to pay, but they did offer uh, for me to sign up to their affiliate program which I did. Now, before we go any further, I do have an affiliate code if you are interested in shopping, but I'm also going to give you my honest opinion on all these items so that you know when you are shopping kind of what you're getting yourself into. So the three items I chose are right here. And as you can see, I am wearing one of them. So this is the blue kind of heart mesh top. It is mesh, so it is see-through, so you do have to be mindful when you're wearing whatever for whatever you're wearing underneath. I actually really like this top. I would say it is pretty self-explanatory and there's not much to it. It's mesh and this is how it fits me. I am wearing a medium. One thing to note, which uh, you will probably see as we go through this video, the sizing on this website is kind of everywhere. The other item that I got, I did get this little halter top it has a tie front and then tie around the neck. And this item I was wary about initially because I am on the bustier side, a lot of these brands often I'm very unsure about. So I have to kind of look at the garment and try to predict how it will fit me. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Obviously for this top, it worked out. That being said, I do believe on someone else who is probably a little less busty um, or is also shorter and smaller in general, this will look longer and fit differently. And then also, so if you are, I would say this top, I do really love how it looks. It's like a, I'll show you the material. It's like a kind of that, I wanna say that lower quality neoprene. It's not a neoprene, but it has that kind of finish. I do really like the style of this. I like that retro print. That being said, if you are on the bustier side, you gotta be careful because it looks cute, but it's not really doing much to hold me in. The third item I got in my first Juicy C order is this halter top. I also really like this halter top. I think this one, the last halter top was a one size, I believe. I don't remember what size this one was, but I don't think there's a size on it. Um, I also really like this. It gives me a little bit of that like Burberry vibe with the color and the um, plaid pattern. But because of the way it fits, the part around here doesn't really cinch under my bust so I feel like there's no actual lift so if you're gonna get this one there is decent coverage if you are on the bustier side and maybe it was my bad in sizing but this one it didn't really like cinch and lift it kind of just the whole I, I don't know how to explain it again I love the style of that top fit was Eh, but coverage was great. After I posted those garments, I did actually get a few sales through my affiliate code, which is obviously very encouraging, so I decided to make a purchase of my own. Now keep in mind, this time, they did not know that I was purchasing it. They didn't know, uh, it wasn't like them sending it out to an influencer, I was just purchasing a, as a regular customer. So I bought four, one, two, three, four items. They came in pretty decent timing. Uh, it's not necessarily the fastest shipping, but it doesn't take months and months and months. So overall, it was pretty efficient. So here are the four items that I ordered. Now the last halter top that I ordered, um, I did not receive in my order. I somehow received this dress instead. 
I did not order it. Um, I did contact their customer service and their customer service was actually very good about getting back to me. They just wanted to see what, mis what the mistake was and they refunded me for the item that I did not get which I appreciated. Um, I would have been excited about this dress. I haven't fully tried it on. I will try it on for you guys today. Um, but I don't believe I can wear this. Being tall, this is not something that I would have ordered for myself because I don't think it'll really fit. But um, I'll show you a photo of what it's supposed to look like and we're gonna try it on to see what it actually looks like. Now, before we try everything on, I do wanna just show you. So I was intrigued by these like n kind of knit material shirts. I'll show you up close what the material looks like. Um, it is quite thin. That being said, I feel like the quality of this, I don't know, it feels nice. There are a couple loose threads. Like if you look up close here, you can see some loose threading, I think right here by the buttons. But overall, the quality of this, even though it is like a thin knit, uh, it's like a fast fashion knit. So I will quickly try these on to show you what they look like. All right, so this is the first polo. Fits me fairly well in the shoulders, maybe a little small in the shoulders, but overall in terms of like a cropped t-shirt, cropped polo, I think everywhere else it fits really well and I don't think it looks too small. Um, this is one that they said was a one size garment. So if you are smaller than me, it'll probably look super cute. Uh, if you are bustier than me or you are maybe broader shouldered or something along those lines, this is going to run tight. Not really sure how they can justify a one size garment, uh, but keep in mind that this one does not come in multiple sizes. This is the second top. This one is a little bit more cropped, a little less kind of cinched on the bottom, um, but overall this is how it fits on me. I love the style and the fit of both of these. They are a little bit different, but also similar vibe. Uh, this kind of retro feel. I recently got some really awesome flare pants. Pairing them together looks really awesome. Um, but I do, I think this style is really cute. And 10 out of 10, I would buy again. I think it's worth the price that they charge for it. All right, so this is when I started to get a little less confident um, about the garments at Juicy C. First of all, this material is quite thin. Um, I loved the garment photo of the, like the product photo on the website of this item. I thought it looked really cute. I ordered this, it was the beginning of the summer and I was hoping to get some more just light summery tops that I could wear either with shorts um, or with a pair of pants in the evening, but I just don't think this is for me. That being said, it's not an expensive garment. I just don't think it looks very flattering and I think the thinner material, it, I just don't love it and I have not worn this once. Okay, I got the dress on. Um, surprisingly, it wasn't as short as I thought, but if you think you're gonna put this on by yourself, good luck. So the back of this dress is all strapped. I don't even know if I did it properly, but you need to tie at the top. There's two ties here. And then there's these two ties right here to kind of like cinch it. <clears throat> and this is how short it is on me. So I could probably get away with wearing this dress. Um, this part is a little bit strange. I feel like I'm barely like in the dress. Like if it wasn't done up properly, I'd probably fall out the side here a little bit. But overall, the dress is really cute. It's a little bit difficult to figure out, but once you get it on, it's super cute. I personally don't know if I would just wear this dress. I feel like it, it, it's a little too cutesy for me personally. I do think that on me, because I'm so tall, it maybe looks too small on me, even though it does mostly cover, I would still have to wear like a pair of little shorts or something under this. I mean, it's a bonus dress. I didn't ask for this. I got this dress by accident. It is really cute, but I feel like I would probably style it more for like 
a cosplay style kind of shoot with maybe like a little petticoat and bloomers underneath and a chunky shoe, chunky white shoe and do something more along those lines, like a cute Alice in Wonderland. But for me personally, I don't know if I would necessarily just wear this. I don't feel comfortable in it. I think it is definitely subjective. Uh, this one's just not for me. All right, so those are all the items that I bought as a customer. Now we're gonna get into the meat of this video. Juicy C actually reached out to me a second time and asked if they could work with me again and send me a few garments. So for those of you who follow me on Instagram, specifically my Tallest Mermaid account, you obviously know that most of the fashion content I do is for fellow tall women. I'm six foot two, so I like to share items that work for other people who are taller. Juice CC is not a tall brand. They are not made for tall people. I would say for the most part, they're probably made for much more petite people. So I didn't want to just get a couple garments and post it again. Uh, I did actually say that I'd be more interested in sharing a YouTube video just so that I can share my findings on how they fit me and my experience with them. So they agreed to send me eight items. So I chose eight new items from Juicy C just so that I could get a little bit more of a thorough um, look at things that they have to offer. So we're gonna dive into that. Now the very first item on the list is actually not one of my first choices. There was a top that I chose instead of this but that top they said was no longer available. So I chose this little halter top. It is the Love Buckle Halter Knitted Tank Top. I got it in a size medium. I love the style, again, because of that kind of retro vibe. I thought it would look really cute with a bunch of the flare pants that I have. So I thought that this was a nice alternative to the initial top that I had asked for. And this is what that halter looks like on. Um, the material on this is that same kind of thin ribbed material that was on the other little kind of halter, that green and cream colored halter situation. You'll notice that I'm wearing my bra underneath. Uh, I, I can't wear this without a bra. If you are smaller chested, I think that this would look really cute. You probably wouldn't have to deal with a bra situation, but without a bra, the buttons were busting. Um, it wasn't sitting like, it just wasn't sitting it like it wasn't flattering it didn't look right and it didn't look very nice i love the style so much more with the bra so i'm not entirely sure i will have to figure that out because obviously like this is an entirely open back situation and having those like bra straps is not ideal so i'll have to figure that out maybe look into getting a halter bra um but I love the style, it is a thinner material. So the next item on my list is this one shoulder kind of knot top. So it's called the tie front one shoulder knitted top. Um, it's kind of that same thin knit material that the t-shirts, those like polo t-shirts were made out of. So not nearly as thin as the top that I'm currently wearing. And then up by kind of the bust area, it is double layered. Okay, so this is this top. I don't really know how to wear this. <laughs> this is how it looks. So when I put it on, this part just like came undone. So this little kind of flap literally just goes through and has like, this little knot. I would need a different bra situation because this obviously isn't working. That's what the back looks like. Um, but I don't think that this one is not exactly made for a bustier gal. It feels nice, looks nice, but I feel like it's too small. Oh, this is a one size garment. So, I mean, if you are on the more petite side, I think that this would probably work. It is really cute and it feels nice, but it's just not really doing it for me. All right, so I just jumped straight into the next top because that other top was clearly not doing it for me. This is the gray knitted halter top, crop top, uh, and I got it in a size medium, so it's like, 
again this so this one's a like kind of knitted material um but it is on the thinner side not the same knit as the t-shirts and this is how it fits so this if you'll remember from a little bit earlier this is one of the items that i when i ordered as a customer I ordered this top. I thought it would be good, a good staple, something that you can wear kind of with everything. And I did not receive it. I received that dress instead, but I have it now. And this is what it looks like. Overall, it fits pretty perfectly. Again, with bra straps, I would probably just have to find something that I can, or just cinch them in the back so that you can just kind of hide them a little bit better so that they're not sticking out. Also to each their own. I generally prefer to hide mine. I just think it has cleaner lines in an entire outfit. It is quite cropped on me, um, but also if you are less busty, uh, it's probably going to sit a little bit longer. Also keep in mind my torso is very long, so everything always looks a little bit shorter on me. But overall, I quite like this option. If you haven't caught on by now, I ordered a lot of tops. Uh, because Juicy C is not a tall brand, I feel the safest when I'm ordering something that I feel like is probably going to fit me, which is why I generally lean towards tops. Also, I need more tops in my wardrobe, so this is very convenient. The next top that I ordered is this white. Oh, it's super blown out. Oh, and we are inside out. Patchwork, lettuce, hem crop top. Disclaimer, I've already worn this. I quite like it. I'll throw it on right now. So this is what that top looks. Again, super cropped. But that patchwork kind of lettuce hem thing um, is obviously very trendy right now. I've seen it on a lot of garments and so I think that this is a really nice kind of neutral option. This one is called irregular stitching tank top although irregular on the website at the time I screenshotted it. So if you are searching a garment, it's L instead of the I. Irregular. And I got this one in a size large. I think that I've made most of my sizing choices based on what the sizing charts are. They do have sizing charts on their website. That being said, sometimes I was looking at them and I was just like, I don't know. I don't know what to do with this information because it seemed weird, it seemed kind of strange. So I generally opt to go a little bit larger than smaller. And, and this one fits me quite perfectly. I just use one of those little bra clips when I'm wearing this one, cinch my bra on the back so that the straps aren't hanging out because obviously it does come in a little bit. But I, I actually really love this top. I have one more top to share. It is the multicolored oil painting tank top. So this is the top. Like it's a pretty thin material, um, nothing too spectacular, with a black mesh back. And I got this one in a size medium, so I'll try this on real quick. So this is what this top looks like on. And this is the back. I got this top, again, this one is pretty cropped. Move back a little bit. This one is fairly cropped, but I feel like I really love kind of this silhouette of top on myself. I think it looks really good with a pair of pants. It looks really good with shorts. I also really love to pair it with like a blazer or something like that. And this top in particular, I thought would look super badass with like a blazer uh, pant set or blazer short set, uh, just as like that little pop of interest uh, with like a kind of suit set. So yeah, I really like this one. The material of this one is kind of that like, slick how like a spandex kind of feels on like the outside kind of reminds me of that it's like super smooth super slick and then obviously the mesh on the back so uh yeah i really like this top as well for my last three items i have two more dresses and one skirt so we'll do the skirt first i ordered the ruffle mini skirts in a size large this is what it looks like in person and I'll uh, try this on real quick. This is what the skirt looks like. It was a little snug getting over my hips, but it looks like it fits me pretty perfectly. But then I'm like, this is a large. These sizes run small. That being said, like it looks like it fits me pretty well. It does have a tendency, I don't know if you can tell, like it wants to like slide up. So then there's like this bunching right here. 
Um, and that's partially because of this little like slip material. There's shorts under here. And it just kind of slides up. I don't know if it would be worth removing, but anyways. Super cute, but also I'd be a little bit concerned about sizing. So I have about a 37 and a half inch hip and about a 26 inch waist, if that's any kind of guideline for you, but this is what it looks like on me. And the next item I got is a daisy print mini cami dress. I got the size medium. This dress is, I would say, a little bit more expensive compared to most of the other items. When I took this screenshot, if it's still the same price, um, it was $35.99, $36 for this. And it's kind of that like, also that neoprene kind of feel to it. Um, it's not, I don't know, it's, it's kind of a strange material. But I'll try this on and see how it fits. Okay, this is what the dress looks like. Um, there are these tie straps right here and then a little tie right here. First of all, length is okay. It's on the short side, especially because it wants to like pucker over my bum a little bit. Um, but if you are on the taller side, I feel like most women or girls watching this are probably not necessarily as tall as me. So you'd probably be okay in terms of length because for the most part it covers, it's just shorter than what I'm used to. But yeah, so you have the ties here and then you also have a little tie he here. Um, this tie doesn't actually do anything. It just is like a decoration, but the ties here can basically like pucker this little part. So overall, the dress part fits me okay, but the top does nothing for me. Obviously I kept my bra on again for this. I don't think that I could wear it braless because there is literally no support around this part. I'm not fitting in this part. I think it's definitely meant for a smaller busted person. The idea of this dress is cute. I've seen so many girls in dresses like this and I think it's really cute. I just don't think this particular dress is for me. But I also think that if you are probably a little bit more petite as most of these things, kind of the trend for most of these, if you were a little smaller chested, it probably could work. And I think it might be like a decent option. It's cute, not my favorite. All right, and last but not least, we have one more dress to try, and this one I'm not a little bit nervous about. I was excited for this dress, but I'm a little nervous. This is the slit side long dress with zipper. This one was also on the more expensive side, and it was on sale, so originally $57.99, and I, when I got it, it was listed at $41.99. This is the dress. It's like a thin denim, quite thin denim um, dress. And this, to me, looks wide. So, I mean, we're just gonna try it on and see how it goes. Okay, and this is how the dress fits. And it is too wide. I think that if it actually fit properly, it would be really cute. There's like decent coverage up top. The straps are thick enough for like a comfortable bra. Um, and like if this were the case, it would probably look a lot better. So I would say that this particular style definitely runs large. It's not gonna be fitted like the photo if you get something that would be generally your regular size. Overall, the style is really cute. So like again, like I said, if it fit, then I would say this one's a great style. Maybe I would feel differently if it fit me properly, but I think the material, like it's just, if it were on sale again, like I said, I would say get the smaller size and it, it would be really cute. But this one as it is, um, not as much of a fan. Okay, so. Recap, I've had some things sent to me from Juicy as an influencer to share with you guys to show kind of how they look on and share my thoughts. And then I've also made some purchases. My opinion across the board, whether it's been gifted or I've made a purchase, aside from the slight kind of um, mistake with the items being switched out when I made my purchase, my opinion remains the same. I think that every item 
you can't really judge them all together. Some items are going to be great, some items are not. I think that a lot of these items are probably made for a more petite frame. But that being said, I do believe that there's a lot of things that you can make work. Usually when I'm purchasing items from a brand like this, I do kind of have to use my judgment on what has worked in the past so that I know kind of what silhouettes and what styles might actually work on me. And then you're kind of just guessing and hoping for the best. Styles on GCC, they're constantly bringing in updated styles. So on that front, I think that they're really awesome. And for the most part, most of the prices are really awesome. I think that for a low price and for a great style, it's something that is definitely worth trying. But like I said, you kind of have to make a judgment call kind of with each item check out their size charts but also take them with a grain of salt and use your prior knowledge to kind of your own sizing your own fitting um you kind of have to use all that when you're making a judgment call on size and garments if that make if any of that makes sense those are my thoughts um if you do plan on purchasing you can use my affiliate code tallest mermaid to get 18 percent off of your purchase which might also make the purchase decision a little bit easier knocking that little bit extra off just want to say a huge thank you to gcc for reaching out to me so that i can share my experience also realize that my experience is probably a little bit different my body is not necessarily the same as many of yours so my measurement the way things sit on me, the way things fit me is definitely going to be different. All right, my camera just died on me while I was finishing that up. Quick reference, if you are new here, you haven't been to my channel before, if you are not aware, um, I'm six foot two. So obviously I am quite a bit longer than most people, probably most of the people that are shopping at Juicy So keep in mind that because I am longer, things are going to fit me differently. For reference, I'm usually about a size six and my measurements, I have about a 35 inch bust, a 25, 26 inch waist and a 30, probably 26 inch waist these days uh, and a 37 ish inch uh, hip. So if those measurements kind of help you in terms of how these garments are fitting me, um, I, I hope that helps. Anyways, I hope you liked this video. If it helped you, please let me know if you bought anything from Juicy C. Also, please let me know. You can use my affiliate code if you do purchase. And uh, I, I think that's everything. Thanks again for watching. I hope you loved it and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.